All right, guys, went back today with one of the most interesting and versatile AR-15s that I've had out to the channel in a very long time. This is the brand new Palmetto State Armory Sabre Mark 12 Mod S with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel, making it the legal 16 inch overall length. We're going to talk about the specs and features of this rifle, all of the really premium components that went into it, as well as the performance down at the range. But before we do, I want to give a little bit about the backstory of this particular rifle and why PSA is making it. Now recently PSA is doing a ton of clone bills and this is a variation of the Mark 12 special purpose rifle. Now that was actually in service with the United States Special Forces Operations as a designated marksman role until about 2017. Now there's a ton of variations and again we are looking at the Mod S version of this with that 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel. So this is going to be really a cloned build, but it also has functional and practical purposes in every day's arsenals uh, still to this day, especially with the components that's used on this particular setup. Now, before we get too far into it, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the ammo to sponsor this video. These guys sent over a ton of 223 and we've been running it in this upper and it's been running great. I also have the code 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on ammo orders over $200 and they just did restocks and price drops so definitely check them out but now back into the review and we're going to start from the front and work our way to the back now the cool thing about a lot of PSA rifles is the fact that they are pin and welding their muzzle devices on the end of a lot of their 13.7 and 14.5 barrel options to make them 16 inch overall length and with the NFA approval times on a lot of the cans going down to just a few days, I actually picked up a few different versions. And this one actually has the AAC 51 tooth flash hider on the end of it. But you can also get it with chemo and a few other options. But this is the one that I personally requested from Palmetto State Armory. So that's a pretty cool addition. And you can cycle through either just the uppers or complete setups with the pin and weld muzzle device that's going to fit your can. Now that's attached to that 14.5 inch FN Cold Hammer Forge barrel, and that is a very premium barrel utilizing the same steel that FN puts in their M249s and 240s, so you know it's going to last a very long time, and it really lends to the durability and longevity of this rifle, and it is also incredibly accurate down at the range. Now, I generally talk about accuracy and performance in the performance section of this review, but since we're talking about the FN Cold Hammer Forge barrel, I do want to bring up that this easily shot one inch groups all all day long with no issues whatsoever even with that Callaway ballistics range ammo we were still getting good groups at a distance and I took this out to about 200 yards to take some shots but I didn't get a chance to stretch it out past 200 but it was a tack driver so again a great special purpose rifle it's long enough to really get some velocity behind the rounds to take some shots at a distance but it's still short enough and really encompasses the full potential of 14.5 pin and weld with a can to be a little bit more maneuverable. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we move on to the rest of the rifle itself. Now, surrounding that barrel is going to be a very interesting rail system that you may not have seen before because, again, I've only seen these in photos and glancing through Instagram. This is the PRI Gen 3 free floating tube, and it's actually made of carbon fiber with pick rail sections. And this is not a copy of the tube. This is actually the tube itself. And another reason why this is going to be a premium offering from Palmetto State Armory. They didn't try to reproduce this on on their own and I'm not quite sure how easy or hard it is to tool up to produce their own carbon fiber tools so it's nice that they just utilize the rail system itself and it works out beautifully and it's incredibly well balanced. When you are talking about a setup like this, it's very nice because they also include things like the adjustable gas system under the rail so you can get this thing specifically tuned for your needs. And man, it was gassed amazing out of the box. Now, the fact that this does have the 14.5 pin and weld barrel with the carbon fiber tube allows it to be incredibly well balanced and nimble for different shooting applications, including CQB and up-close shooting. Also, if you're hanging things like a bipod or a can off 
off the end. You don't have a ton of weight in the rail system, so it balances out nicely, and you can add those things without having an overly heavy rifle. So I've really fallen in love with this setup for practical purposes, even though it is a clone build. I mean, obviously, they selected these features up until 2017 for a reason, and those features still carry over to today. Now, moving along to the upper receiver itself, you're getting a fairly standard upper receiver, but it is coated very nicely. And when we are looking at the bolt, it's going to be that Carpenter 158. And the BCG is going to be the father, uh, the Fathers of Freedom BCG by Microfest, Microbest, sorry, I'm mumbling my words here, with the Sprinco Extractor. So it's going to have that enhanced extractor, and it works out really good uh, down at the range. Now, the really cool thing about this is a lot of the Sabres, or most all of the Sabres, include the Radian Raptor LT charging handle with that uh, Sabre logo on there. So these are one of my favorite charging handles that they're offering, and they do great down at the range. Moving along to the lower assembly, there's a few different iterations of this rifle, again, available on PSA's site, but the one we selected was the Mod S, so what you get with that is a few different variations for the lower assembly. This one has the B5 system stock and grip, which I feel is the most practical for a wide variety of applications, including, again, CQB shooting up close, you can pull the stock in, or you can extend it with the cheek well for distance shooting, making it a great uh, special purpose rifle and a wide variety of scenarios. Now, if you want the exact specs and details of the entire setup, you can head over to PSA's site. But you can also head over to my campsite page and find the best deals possible on a wide variety of things and daily deals over on my Instagram page. So don't forget to check those out. Now, when we are talking about the lower, on the Sabre lowers, you're going to get an upgraded trigger, which is incredibly nice. It just feels a lot better than your standard triggers. And when you're looking at those triggers, you can, again, kind of upgrade those as it goes. But I like the Sabre Claws two-stage trigger that they've included in here. And then they also have um, upgrades to the lowers itself, like the Spring Co. Buffer Spring, H2 Buffer, and then the Battle Arms uh development pivot and takedown pins so you're getting a lot of different components in here including the anti-walk pins on the trigger itself so every aspect of this build is top tier in premium options and not everything is going to be a direct representation of a true mark 12 clone but this is going to be one of those clone-ish builds that still has functional and practical purposes taking the heart what it was trying to copy in the first place Throw an LPVO, a can, and a bipod, and you're good to go with one of the most versatile rifles that I have in my collection simply because of this rail system is so light and nimble, yet stable and rugged. It's great to attach a lot of things on the end of it without overly weighing you down. This is a great example of what PSA is producing in their premium and top tier product line. I've fallen in love with the Sabre lineup and I've reviewed a ton of them. Definitely subscribe to my channel and check out those other videos if you haven't done so because I'm constantly reviewing Palmetto State Armory Sabre and just PSA products in general. Everything from torture testing their $500 ARs or reviewing something like this that's going to be right at the $1,300, $1,400 range if you buy it as a complete setup. Thanks for watching, guys, and again, thanks to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring this video with the ammo. Have a good one.